Hello guys, welcome to this 8th episode of the Built a Web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall be uploading one video every day from Monday to Friday. For viewing the completed application in action with a few of the functionalities, please watch the introduction video that is the part 1 with the link in the description. In my previous episode, I walked through the creation of the iCustomer repository interface as I am following the repository pattern for this project. In this episode, I shall create the iOrder repository interface which will be implemented by the order repository later. I shall build the project from scratch and walk you through the code explaining everything in the process. All the episodes will be in continuation from the previous ones and so is the building of the code base. Hence, it is highly recommended to be up to date with all the previous episodes before viewing this one. The essential links and the SQL scripts you will find in the video description. I also request you to view the entire video in all these episodes to get the best out of them. As always, every suggestion and feedback are welcome and please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in the uploads. Okay, now let's see what we are going to do in this lecture. So now we will create the iOrder repository interface in the same way that we created the iCustomer repository interface and by the end of this lecture we shall have a completed iOrder repository interface. So let's switch over to Visual Studio again and we shall create on the models folder another another class and class so i order repository dot cs file and we'll change it to reflect an interface okay public interface i order repository right so it, this will be exactly i mean the same way all the members of this interface which will be ultimately converted into methods in the order repository class they will follow the same pattern as in the i customer repository so again I enumerable on order get all orders all the method signatures and then get order by ID with the parameter integer id now this will be returning an order type so order okay so why this blue line is coming so order get order by id Now everything is fine. Previously it was showing with a this type of color, light blue color, as if it was a type or class, but it is not. It, it settled down. Now again, I'll return an order object. Add order. In exactly the same way as it was for the customer. And this will take a parameter of order type. So order, order. And again, update order will also return an order object. Order. And finally, the delete order will 
return void and null the quietly delete the order from the table and this will be int id again and just you can just quickly build it by hotkey combination control shift and b to see that everything is fine and not broken so the build succeeded and we have got a working order repository interface and a customer repository interface so in this lecture we have built a an i order repository interface which needs to be implemented by an order repository class.